Hello everyone and welcome to 28 Facts About the Alaskan Malamute. Number 28. What type of animal is an Alaskan Malamute? The Alaskan Malamute is a breed of dog similar to others in that they look like huskies and arctic dogs. Even spitz breeds like the Greenland Dog, Canadian Eskimo Dog, Siberian Husky, and Samoyed are similar to this one. During the Alaskan Gold Rush, this dog breed was frequently used for search and rescue operations. Number 27. What class of animal does an Alaskan Malamute belong to? Alaskan Malamutes are considered to be mammals. Of the Arctic sled dog breeds, it is one of the oldest. The Nordic breed variety of Alaskan Malamute, famed for its strength and prowess, was created more for hauling big loads than for racing. These energetic dogs need obedience instruction and consistent exercise to prevent health issues. Number 26. How many Alaskan Malamutes are there in the world? There is no precise estimate of the number of Alaskan Malamutes in existence. Prior to being saved by a breeder in New England, the species was imperiled by interbreeding. However, after being saved, its number increased. Number 25. Where does an Alaskan Malamute live? On Alaska's western shore, the Seward Peninsula is where Alaskan Malamutes choose to reside. Dogs that have been domesticated are typically found in people's homes. Number 24. What is an Alaskan Malamute's habitat? The Alaskan Malamute's native habitat is the Seward Peninsula on Alaska's western coast. People's homes may have this breed of dog. Number 23. Who do Alaskan Malamutes live with? Alaskan Malamutes shouldn't be left alone since, if left alone for more than a few hours, they can become destructive. Number 22. How long does an Alaskan Malamute live? The lifespan of an Alaskan Malamute ranges from 10 to 12 years, depending on a variety of elements such as the environment, surrounds, diet, and nutrition. If the Alaskan Malamute receives the right training, grooming, and medical care, their lifespan could reach 16 years. Number 21. How do they reproduce? The owners oversee the Big Alaskan Malamute's breeding program. The male and female are brought together by the breeders so that they can breed and produce puppies. The male canine mounts the female during copulation, and the two then begin to breed. A litter of 4 to 10 Alaskan Malamute puppies is born during a gestation period of between 60 and 75 days. Number 20. What is their conservation status? As domestic pets who are also kept in pet homes and cafes, Alaskan Malamutes do not have a conservation status designated. They were once in danger of extinction due to interbreeding, but a breeder in New England saved them later, and their population grew as a result. The American Kennel Club estimates that there are a sufficient number of Alaskan Malamute dogs being kept as pets today. Number 19. What do Alaskan Malamutes look like? The double coat on Alaskan Malamutes is quite dense. The protective coat, also known as the thick coat or the guard coat, should not be lengthy or soft. These dogs resemble other breeds like the Samoyed, Greenland Dog, Canadian Eskimo Dog, and Siberian Husky in appearance. Black and white, gray and white, red and white, sable and white, and chocolate and white are the most common Malamute color combinations. Their regal beauty is enhanced by their blue eyes. Number 18. How cute are they? Alaskan Malamutes are very cute and fluffy in their appearance. An Alaskan Malamute puppy is very adorable in nature. These dogs are very cuddly just like a baby. This is one of the working dog breeds and requires proper training and regular exercise to ensure good health. Alaskan Malamute temperament is very friendly and affectionate, adding to their cuteness. Number 17. How do they communicate? Alaskan Malamutes use their vocalizations for communicating. Malamutes do not bark but these dogs are vocal enough that they can communicate with others. Number 16. How big is an Alaskan Malamute? Compared to other dog breeds, the typical size of an Alaskan Malamute is between 23 and 25 inches. Number 15. How fast can an Alaskan Malamute run? Unless and until these dogs become overheated, Alaskan Malamutes can easily run over 40 miles at a time and achieve speeds of 20 miles per hour. Number 14. How much does an Alaskan Malamute weigh? Alaskan Malamutes typically weigh between 70 and 84 pounds for females and 80 to 95 pounds for males. Number 13. What are their male and female names of the species? 
The male and female Alaskan Malamutes have the same name. Male and female members of this breed are referred to as Alaskan Malamutes, respectively. Number 12. What would you call a baby Alaskan Malamute? A baby white Alaskan Malamute is called an Alaskan Malamute puppy. Number 11. Are they hypoallergenic? No, Alaskan Malamutes do not cause allergies. During the shedding season, appropriate grooming is necessary due to the thick, coarse outer coat. In the spring and fall, these creatures blow their coats, which can endure for about three weeks. Number 10. Would they make a good pet? Pet Alaskan Malamutes are a great choice. With very busy households, these animals can make wonderful pets, but you must be very careful while petting them because you should not let the dogs unattended with youngsters. The devotion, affection, and playfulness of the male and female Alaskan Malamute temperaments make them suitable as pets for both children and adults. For this dog breed to avoid a number of health problems, frequent training and exercise are essential. Number 9. Do Alaskan Malamutes make good guard dogs? No, while they make excellent pets and social companions, this breed shouldn't be kept as a security dog. Although they are bright, devoted, and affectionate dogs, this breed shouldn't be kept as a guard dog because to its propensity for destructive behavior. Number 8. What were Alaskan Malamutes originally used for? During World Wars I and II, sled dogs were pulled by Alaskan Malamutes, which are now utilized for working days. Originally, these dogs were employed for large load hauling, polar bear defense, and seal hunting. Number 7. They like to dig. When motivated, Malamutes may create a significant mess in the garden since they are highly skilled diggers. It could be a good idea to create a sandbox or another area that is all theirs to indulge in all of their digging ambitions if you have a beautifully landscaped outdoor area with immaculate flower beds. I think this compromise is a good one. Let's now discuss the garden fence. The Malamute, yes, can tunnel their way under there in no time if not adequately engaged and exercised, however huskies are more likely to jump over it. If you make sure that all of their needs are addressed, this shouldn't be a problem. Number 6. They have a high prey drive. Alaskan Malamutes were employed not just for sled pulling but also for polar bear and seal hunting. Due to their heritage as hunters, Alaskan Malamutes have a high prey drive and are more inclined to chase cats and small animals like rabbits and squirrels. Therefore, you should always keep your dog on a leash if you are in a location where they might chase and there is a road nearby. If they are raised from an early age with pet cats, Alaskan Malamutes typically get along with them. They will view the cat as a member of their pack if they do this. Number 5. They shed heavily twice a year. The double coat of the Alaskan Malamute is extraordinarily thick and is made up of an oily, woolly undercoat that is 1 to 2 inches deep beneath the coarse outer layer. Similar to Siberian Huskies, these dogs lose their complete undercoat twice a year in the spring and the fall, which results in three to four weeks of hair accumulation all over the house. Brush your pet every day during this period with a sturdy comb that can get into the undercoat, and do I even need to mention the vacuum cleaner? Number 4. They don't tolerate hot climates. The Malamute is extremely heat sensitive, just like Huskies are. I don't recommend acquiring a Malamute if you live somewhere where the temperature rises above 80 degrees 26.6 degrees Celsius. Avoid exercising them during the hottest parts of the day and make sure they have access to lots of shade and water during the summer to keep them cool. Number 3. They like spending time with their family. Because of its strong pack sense, the Alaskan Malamute wants to be a part of your family and enjoys being around you. They dislike spending prolonged amounts of time alone, no more than 3 or 4 hours. Underneath all that bulk and fur, they have a kind spirit. The AKC claims they love children. In fact, I find that they are typically kind and gentle with children. However, because they are a large dog who develops quickly, they would be better suited to families with slightly older children. An excitable Malamute puppy could accidentally knock a tiny child over. Number 2. They need a firm leader. The Alaskan Malamute requires a strong leader, just like the Siberian Husky, and isn't the best dog for a first-time owner unless you're really prepared to put in the effort. Similar to the Siberian Husky, their obstinacy can be mistaken for a lack of intelligence, yet they are actually a smart dog. 
If they get the impression that you are not a strong leader, they won't be likely to follow orders and will gladly do whatever they want. They can learn to be a follower with the appropriate instruction and continuous, strong leadership. I suggest you begin their obedience training early so you can learn how to control your very willful malamute. Number 1. They love to have a job while exercising. Being developed for endurance and power, the Alaskan Malamute is a working dog through and through. They were bred, like the Siberian and Alaskan Huskies, to pull sleds over vast distances. While Huskies are known for their quickness, the Malamute is more larger and stronger, which is the main distinction from them. The Alaskan Malamute is capable of towing loads up to 3,300 pounds, 1,500 kilograms. They need a lot of exercise, 1 12 to 2 hours per day, considering their previous employment. Additionally, they enjoy having a job to perform while working out. Here are a few things they are good at, bike joring, skate joring, ski joring, karting, sledding, agility lessons, and hiking are all activities that involve dragging someone while they are on a bike. That's all 28 facts about the Alaskan Malamute. Make sure to check the description below for more information. See you next time.